So you've made it past War Priest, and now you're on to the next challenge. That is Golgoroth. Golgoroth is a big, ugly, <laughs> pretty ugly uh, creature that lives in this one room. This room has a pit area down in the bottom that has some, if you look at, that has some actual doors and things down there. And then there's a corridor that goes around the top that also has doors where enemies will end up coming out. So the key to this encounter is, at the very beginning, you're going to want to call two people that are going to steal Golgoroth's gaze. If you've done Caretaker and Vow Disciple, it's a very similar concept. So those people are going to be right and left. Everyone else can divide up, and it doesn't really matter where they are. Usually we do right and left, you know, two and two, but it doesn't really matter. Ultimately, what they're going to be doing is going towards the back and just killing ads. So killing ads, which will allow you to get, you know, ammo and things like that. It's great for ammo runs. But that's basically all you're doing at the beginning of the encounter. Then once all of the ads are cl uh, clear, you will then have to take the people who are doing the taking the gaze. You will need to take those people on the right and left. Now, ideally, they would want to set up towards the front. The primary reason is when you do Golgoroth's gaze, you're going to have people doing DPS from the pit area underneath. To do DPS from there, they're going to have to be able to see his belly. And when you shoot it and take the gaze, the belly opens up. That's how you do DPS. So being as far forward as possible, there are a couple boxes on the side you can also line up in, but being as forward possible is probably the ideal thing. So you'll also notice that there are, there's an orb at the top of the room. That orb is how you do DPS, and I'll explain more in a second. But when you first take the gaze, you're probably going to want to start with the person that's closest to that orb. So again, the gaze follows where the orb is. So do that. And then while you're doing that, the other gaze person plus the people who are doing DPS need to work on it. They can do this even in advance, taking that orb down and dropping that into the pit. Once that drops in the pit, they can come down and they can basically do DPS. So again, that's you could do DPS anywhere, but that's where you get extra damage against the boss and is really the only way you can do it consistently. The other thing once you're in there is you will get, somebody will get a buff called Unstable Light. If you get that buff, what you're going to want to do is run away from the fire team. In D1, you would just run away and hide. In D2, you could actually run up to Golgoroth, get close and detonate because that will actually do some damage. If you stay in the pit with everyone else, you'll actually kill your entire fire team. So again, don't do that. So once you do that, the two gazers are basically going to be doing countdowns to each other. So they'll count down 15, 20, you know, 15, 10, 5, right? Once they get to about five or three, you're going to want the other gazer to basically start working on taking the gaze. Now, you can either, if you're really good, you can do a sniper or something like that. You can wait till really close to the end, but I wouldn't chance it. I would basically try to start at three and try to put some serious damage into him to get him and shoot him in the back to get him to shift the other way. While you're doing that, the other gazer and the people who are doing DPS are going to need to take the next bubble out. And you can see the technique. And so you're going to do that going from left to right or right to left through six balls in the pit. And that's an entire DPS phase. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is if you miss a ball. So for instance, let's say you only did one and that left five that you never got to. Well, he has a white mechanic where if you get to six total balls that you didn't get, that will wipe the entire fire team. So it's really important to go ahead and make sure that you're getting all the balls as, as soon as possible. The other thing to keep in mind is there are going to be ads that are continuously streaming into that pit area. So the other person's not gazing um, would probably want to go ahead and when they're possible, use Wither Horde and things like that to continue to, to take out the ads that are in the pit. The other thing you could do if you really struggle with this is you could designate one person that all they do is clear ads. I don't think this is necessary, but if your team's struggling, that's something you can do. And so that's basically it. You just go through, you alternate the gaze between the two players, you drop the balls, get into the pit, into his goo, basically. That sounds disgusting. And then you do DPS. And again, you when that DPS counter starts going down for the gaze, you're gonna wanna start working on the next ball, drop the goo again, flip over there, do that six times. If you don't do it after a while, obviously as an enrage mechanic, but this is actually a fairly easy encounter. If you just do that, control the ads, you should be able to get through this no problem, and then you're on to daughters. That's the video, guys. Really, I hope this video helps you out. If it did, feel free to drop a comment. Let me know if you got your first clear. Again, you could also drop into my Discord, which is on my channel. But again, I hope you liked the video. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guarding to the tower.